Hi, I'm Nancy Zubiri. And I'm Pierre Rigaud with the El Chacaceta website. We're here today at the Kern County Bass Club Festival in Bakersfield. You know this is the largest bass festival in California. Wow. And we're going to be talking today with people about what it means to be bass. Oh, yeah, let's go. Kwasen. I'm Alicia Thuridia and I'm from Bakersfield. I'm Annalisa Alexander and I'm also from Bakersfield. Uh, I love being bass because it's like we're a huge family, we're a nice community. We all love to talk, to hang out, and I just love it. That's my favorite part. Yeah, kind of along those same lines. It's like everyone is like all together as one community and like you don't see each other all the time, but when you do see each other, it's like no time has passed and you can really just connect well with each other. Uh, I love the music and just the happiness that everyone has, the smiles, that's my, definitely my favorite part. Yeah, I just love at the end of the night when it's like everything has already happened and they start playing music and then everyone, whether you're Basque or not, is out there and all dancing and just having a really good time. Hi, I'm Nico and I'm from Chino, California. I love the community and I like the fiestas. I love having, uh, seeing people around, I love practicing the culture. I love watching the handball games and uh, the dancing and uh, all the like, I don't know, like everybody's happy. It's nice. Uh, my name's Sebastian. I'm from the Bakersfield Bass Club. And one thing I like about the bass community is how tight it is with everyone and the relationships that I have with other kids my age that are bass. Hi, my name's William Minaberry Garai. Um, I love about being Basque is the community that it brings. Um, I love the multi-generational relationships that I've built. That's really important to me. And also, having gone off to university, it gave me a, a base that I could um, come back to and something that I knew would um, sort of hold me down. Um, I participate in the clica and I danced until I went to university. And I also, I played moose with my brother yesterday. Um, in the Moose Tournament. Um, so yeah, that's what I love about being Basque. Hello, my name is Eneko Basa and uh, I am from the Rockland Basque Club. My favorite part about being Basque was growing up Basque, going to summer camps my whole life and creating lifelong friends and a community nationwide. Uh, that's been a great experience. Now that anywhere I go, I have, a com I have community to surround myself with. You're talking about the Basque camp, Udaleku? Yes, Udaleku Basque camp, where you get to go for two weeks and live with a different Basque family and different uh, Basque clubs around the United States. It, I, I think it might be in Bakersfield this summer. Yeah, I can't no longer participate because I'm past the age of 18, but I participated my whole life and it was a great experience. My name is Asier Deleuze. I'm from Bakersfield, California. And um, one thing that I think is great about being a part of the Basque culture is that it brings a sense of community to my culture and to where I live and it's also just a fun it's a fun gathering and other people not only the people from the bass that are bass get to come and celebrate this and they get a they get a sense of what our culture is about my name is Beth and Salabaher Cheney um, and I'm from Bakersfield California <laughs> I love the community I love the sense of having this big family, even though we're not all directly related, but this this community and um, I love the food. Everything is sort of based around food and having this like communal experience together. Um, and it's just my favorite. The lamb, obviously, it's kind of in, ingrained in the culture, raising sheep. Um, and that whole idea of work ethic, you know, coming from, you know, raising the animals, toiling, like working for what you have and working for what your meal, um, that whole idea is something that I love and want to pass on to my children. So, yeah. All right, so I'm uh, Philippe Duhart and I'm from Bakersfield, California originally. Um, it's not the clica, <laughs> I'll tell you that. I'd, I'd rather be not in these clothes right now. Um, to be honest, I think it's the food, so I'm really looking forward to lunch tomorrow. So, yeah, and especially since I live in, in Pasadena and I lived in upstate New York for a while, uh, that's the one thing I miss the most is the food. So my name is uh, Johnny Etchmendy, and I'm originally from Bakersfield, California, where I live now exactly, uh, and I'm in farming. Uh, the social dynamic, I mean, uh, growing up, 
you know, our communities, whether it was San Francisco or Southern California, or if it was parts of Idaho or Nevada, uh, or just here in Bakersfield, growing up as children, uh, participating in the clique, participating in dancing, seeing family from um, from the Basque Country uh, visit here, uh, meeting other uh, families from the Basque Country, from other Basque families here in town. Uh, it's just it's a really rich and diverse um, culture. It's uh, it's beautiful. So it's something that I'm proud to be part of and, and uh, proud that I can provide this for my children. Okay, my name is John Batiste Reca. And it's uh, John Daniel Reca. And where are you from? We're both from uh, Palmdale, California. And we're father and son. We're here to celebrate the uh, Bass Festival. And it's been a tradition for a long time for my family, ever since I was almost born. So it's almost a three generation of family was in this fast event. My dad was a fast dancer, and my cousin was a fast dancer, and then I'm also a fast dancer, and the next fast dancer. Next generation. So we've been doing it for a long time. Um, just a really good community, the great food. And just like just dancing here, it's very fun. I think the main thing is when we all come together as like a big, like a big family. Really, we only we go different town, and it's like a big family, and the friends, and that's the main thing. We are privileged to be born. I don't know, you know. I mean, I'm proud to be Basque. I'm proud to be in the United States, and you know. Everything. I, I don't know. I don't know to tell you the truth, you know, and what, what it is, but it's nice to be together, you know. My kids appreciate more. <laughs> but, uh, today, it is such an honor. We have traveled half of the world away from the Basque Country. It is such an honor that we have, we are so successful in this country, holding our culture in such a high power. Just, highly estimated by everybody in our younger generation they are so proud of being Basque. Yeah. Being Basque. And the grandkids are coming. I think whenever the kids at an early age they are proud of the heritage, it may help them for the rest of their life, just give them a strong identity and personality. They are so proud of themselves. To any human beings that is proud of themselves, of their parents, the kid here at a young age, has a better chance growing up and becoming a, a member of the society in any country of the world. I'm Jovita Ruiz Cueli, and I, uh, I'm coming in English. I'm coming from Navarra, a small town close to Pamplona, a Ripa, a beautiful country, and it's mine and I treasure that we are all very friendly, very happy, very lively people and uh, courageous people. And it's mine and I was born with it and I can live without it. And wherever we go, we all get together and proud of who we are. And it's very rich culture, culture what we have. And as you can see, my English is not very good, but that's okay. <laughs> like we all must do, lamb chops, lamb chops, and lukainka, and uh, all the good things that uh, we cook, very specifically. And we don't know how to eat without singing, we all do it together. And uh, right now, that's what we have it. Music with our food, from Navarra. <laughs> Iñaki from Navarra, yeah. and he plays this beautiful songs from Navarra, yeah. My name is Bernardo Vidaurreta, and I'm from Navarra. From which town? A little town is north, school is north, in the Erro Valley. That's where I come from. What's my favor? I like the reunions to see friends. Once a year, we, we see a lot of, well, Bakersfield, I see a lot of people during the year, but the outside people usually see them at the picnic or 
Uh, we go to some other places too outside of Bakersfield, you know. But I like the reunions. Too. I enjoy that. I, I've been locked up for two years now, two and a half years. My wife won't let me go any place. <laughs> I'm. Uh, my name is Pierre Lajargo. I'm from uh, Basque, French Basque, from uh, Suhuskan. Well, I don't know. Everything is good. <laughs> it's a big question you ask me. <laughs> The good, good, thing, good thing it is that uh, every year we got some picnics and we get the other and most of them we come from after and we enjoy to see, uh, uh, talk with them and uh, all the fiestas that we do here, that is really good. All the handballs and all the plays, moose and all that, so that's it. Wow, that was just an amazing day that we had and asking folks, you know, what does it mean to be Basque? Uh, I think of it as in the context of what does it mean to be Basque American, to uh, finding you know happiness in your community, and in this country, you know, we talk about the pursuit of happiness. And today, I really feel like we found it in community and contentment, and and that's really what brings context to our lives. We are probably the happiest when we are part of something bigger, and today the Basque Festival was that. You know, I think that uh, Aita captured it when he talked about uh, you know serving our community, uh, friends, family, and our faith. And in serving each other, I believe that's how we truly connect with each other. And, uh, you know, that's what brings this context to our lives. So thank you so much for joining us. I mean, it was, it was an awesome day. And I could tell that the common theme was happiness being together. Until next time, see you.